Yeah, Michael, I know this video's title, Paris Labroom 312's video's title, but what you did in the video as far as your argumentation and responses really was folly, and I will explain why in a bit, but I will try not to be as verbally abusive to you as Labroom was in his video to me. The slide at around 1.15 of your video was your first folly. You said that I am narrowing the concept of God down to being only consciousness. This, of course, is a lie, or more nicely, a fabrication, because it is provably the case that in my video I referenced the phrase mind slash consciousness or consciousness slash mind four times. I did this on purpose, hoping that you would not dishonestly misrepresent my position as claiming that I think God is only consciousness. Despite my saying mind slash consciousness four times to ward this off, you did it anyway. That's folly. Because folly is by definition foolishness, and it is utterly foolish to misrepresent something that was articulated clearly to you four times. The slide at around 135 of your video was more folly, as you claim I am posting that theists say there was a mind before existence. But this straw man was also foolishness because not once, but twice in my argument, I said the position is that God, being an immaterial mind, created all reality distinct from himself. That is not the same as saying God was before existence. The slide at around 153 of your video was your greatest folly in this manner. You referenced my explication that something can exist and not be conscious, but something can't be conscious and not exist. Why was that folly? Because you, who I believe said he has a degree in philosophy or theology, apparently doesn't know the difference between the fallacy ignorantia elenchi and a false dichotomy. You claim my statement committed an ignorantia elenchi fallacy since it makes a false dichotomy. But, my dear Michael, the fallacy of ignorantia elenchi is a fallacy of irrelevant conclusion, not a false dichotomy. It is absolutely foolish for a person who purports to have a degree in philosophy or theology to be ignorant in the fallacies they are using. Even worse, my statement was given as logical support for the fact that existence is more fundamental and essential than a mind slash consciousness. Thus, it is the only objectively valid irreducible primary, which proved that an immaterial mind cannot be back of all existence slash reality distinct from itself. The slide at 153 was so foolish, you accused me of making a false dichotomy when I didn't even give an either-or scenario with that articulation. I was not giving you two alternatives to pick from or a dilemma to choose between, but supporting my position that existence has primacy over all things, including the mind slash consciousness. At around 256 of your video, you engage in yet more folly by yet again dishonestly lying, or shall I say more nicely, fabricating the claim that you were forced to rely on someone else's definition of what existence exists means. That was a lie, since I gave you a robust articulation of what existence exists means four days before you made the video I am refuting. In fact, that claim is so disgustingly dishonest, I made a video articulating in my own words what existence exists means over 11 months prior to your video claiming you were forced to rely on someone else to know what existence exists means. At around 3.11 of your video, you commit more folly since you again dishonestly use the ploy of inserting false dichotomies and artificial splits into your straw mans of other people's positions in order for you to evade reality and engage in your constant pseudo logic. Not a single time in my video's articulation, not once, did I even mention the word physical. As I pointed out to you several times, this is a straw man argument on your part, but it is also patently dishonest, as this ploy has been pointed out to you several times, and you do it anyway. Indeed, I sent a PM to you, Socrates for the win, and Danny Dan Danikins on August 1st, 2010, pointing out this exact dishonest tactic to you. That's nine days prior to the release of the video in question. That is true folly, to be told you are doing something wrong and to do it again anyway because you are either dishonest or that foolish. The identification of your straw man destroys your claims of fallacy of accident and your tried and true evasion tactic of category error. You cannot have something be a fact yet be subject to a mind or its identity or origination 
is in the power slash subjection of a mind that grounds reality in subjectivism which reduces to relativism which is why theism is necessarily false.